Hello guys, welcome to Bucks in Code and today we are going to look at a problem that is maximum depth of a binary tree. Uh, but before that, if you are new here and a person who likes stuff related to coding, then this is the place for you. You can subscribe the channel, channel so that you never miss out an update. So let's, let's get started. The problem statement says that given the root of a binary tree, return its maximum depth. So let me tell you what actually maximum depth is. So maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from root to node. Uh, let me take an example here. So let me draw a binary tree like this. Let me draw a few more nodes and like this like this okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so what i have to return is i have to return the longest path from root to leaf and this is going to be my maximum depth so for this case uh, if i'm given this tree then my output is something going to be this path so I need to return the number of nodes in this path like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my output is going to be 5. 5 is my answer. Okay, so I hope you get the clear understanding of the problem. And even if I take a single root, like if I have another example, a single root uh, which has value 5, then for this output is going to be 1. Output is going to be 1. So let me move to the solution, like how we can uh, approach this problem. Solution. So I look into this problem as, uh, first I look into this problem as a BFS problem, like if I'm given a tree like this. So this is five, four seven nine ten eleven and three so if we have three like this then what we can do is we can count uh, the number of levels so whatever is my number of level is going to be my maximum depth let me show you how this is the level one this is level one this is our level two this is our level three and after that we have one more level which is level 4 so this is going to be my answer now we just need to so this is like a breadth for search breadth first search or you can call it a level order traversal so I'm going to write something here like Okay, so let me write here level order traversal. So we can simply imp implement this approach. So first of all, let me implement this approach. So what I'm going to do is okay. So first of all, let me explain how I'm going to. I hope you guys are mm, familiar with level order traversal, but let me do it again. So if I'm given a tree like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a queue data structure. And in the queue, I'm going to store five. After that, I'm going to traverse the whole queue and uh, I will store the children into the queue. So I will store four and seven here and I will increase my level count. Initially, it will be one. And after that, it will become two. After that, I will store this, to, uh, this level. So it is going to be three, nine and ten. And my level count will increase to three. After that, uh, my queue will store only 11 and my level count is going to be 4. So this 4 is going to be my answer. So let me just implement this approach. This is the problem on lead code and we can, I will even provide the link in the description. So what I can do is I can have a queue of tree node type. We'll call it queue. If you guys don't know so queue is basically an interface and it need to be implemented by a particular class linked list here so while queue is not empty i'm going to do something but before that i'm going to add 
root here so when we do bfs 43 so we don't need to uh, have any visited array because we are just going from this point to this point and we are not going to uh, there is no way that we can backtrack from 9 to 3 so because we don't have a stored neighbor like this it is not a two-way direction so now what i can do is i can have the size of q in a variable after that since q is stored in the current level so what i can do is i can travel the whole level in one go i hope you guys are understanding what i'm trying to say so okay so now I'm going to retrieve my current node node will be equal to q dot pole and if node the left of node is not equal to now then I'm going to add it into q after that if right is not equal to null then I'm also going to add it in the node so this is all about the level order traversal but we need one more variable that is a level that is going to be uh, incremented each time so what i will do is after the whole traversal let me do it this way uh, so i am going to do level plus plus so initially my level is one in the queue after that when i travel the whole one then I'm at level 2 so it is level 1 now I'm at level 2 after that I'm going to traverse it again uh, for this level and I'm going to store level 3 here so I hope you got the clear understanding now I need to return this level let me run this I hope it should work let's see it's returning 4 let me see why for uh, the first level it is here and for the second level it comes here so okay it need to be start with 0 now uh, it should work let's see okay so it's working and let me submit the solution okay we uh, have not checked one condition here my root can be null as well and for null what we are going to return this is the question if my root is null then i'm going to return zero because there is nothing let me now submit the solution okay there is compilation problem i think before submitting you must have to do uh, the compile and run so that you know uh, you can avoid the compilation error at the sub time of submission it's working and but it's only 12 percent faster so this is the problem and even this is the problem because we are doing too much operation here like we are doing the whole level order traversal so we can avoid uh, this much of um, operations let me tell you how now i'm uh, i'm going to tell you the approach to so let me move to the second approach now so it's kind of recursive approach and how i'm going to implement this is let me draw the tree first like this is the tree and one more here even one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so see here what i'm going to do initially the function ask from this node that hey what's your what is your maximum depth so as you can see in the function that it is passing root to the function so let me clear this one first it passes root to the function as you can see here so this means it is asking from root that what is your maximum depth okay so now what root can do is root can ask from this hey what's your maximum maximum depth and similarly from this i mean it's children what is your maximum depth so even these guys don't know what is going to be their maximum depth so these guys are going to ask from this hey what is your maximum depth and similarly from this now this guys know that 
hey i don't have any children so my maximum depth is going to be one and but this uh, guy don't know its maximum depth so it is going to ask from its children and now it doesn't have any children so it will return one its maximum depth now it is going to return this and when i go up then i am going to add one to this so i am going to have two as maximum depth here now for this two we have maximum depth uh, the maximum depth of left children is two and the right children is one so now this is the most important step what we are going to do here so maximum depth of two will be something we will consider the maximum one why maximum because i am uh, willing to found the maximum depth so my maximum depth of max depth of this this node uh, i call it two node is going to be maximum of left max depth of left max depth of left and max depth of right i hope you are uh, understanding what i am trying to say and when i get uh, the maximum depth from a children then i am going to add one one because this node is also going to be counted now so it is going now this node has a maximum depth of 2 plus 1 3 and even you can see here like this is the maximum depth so let me highlight so this is something that is going to be the maximum depth here so that's what i want to tell you and now after that I have the maximum depth of uh, this left and now I am going to ask from the right what is your maximum depth so it is 3 and it will ask from this 6 so it will return that hey my maximum depth is 1 after that it is going to ask from 7 7 is going to ask from this 10 and 10 is going to ask from this 9 it is going to return 1 and after that I will return it to here and even for this I am going to return 0 if this is null then I am going to return 0 this is very important because from out of this 0 and 1 10 is going to take 1 and add to 1 to uh, like this formula is uh, going to play a role here so it will take maximum 1 0 it will be 1 and plus 1 so it will become 2 after that uh, we have null node here and null node is going to return 0 so this 0 and this 2 uh, maximum is 2 and after that I am going to add 1 so it will become 3 out of 3 this 3 and this 1 maximum is out of this 3 and 1 so maximum is 3 now it is going to return 3 and 3 plus 1 is 4 so it has the maximum depth of 4 and even you can see here like it is very easy to understand you can see here it has the maximum depth now my root comes up with uh, this 3 and this 4 out of which it is obviously going to consider this 4 and after that it is going to add 1 because this is also going to be included so now my maximum depth will be something like this one so this is how we are going to approach this question so now you can see the maximum depth will be 5 so our output will be 5 i hope you guys are uh, clear with the solution like how i'm going to approach this even i'm going to write so what i'm going to write is i will has a i will have a function that is max depth which is going to ask from root what is the maximum after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask uh, from each of the children like uh, the first is uh, i will even call it left so the left has the maximum depth of maximum depth of root dot left so i'm going to ask from the function again what is the maximum depth of left similarly from right i'm going to ask from the function what is the maximum depth of my right element after that what i'm going to do is I am going to return return 1 plus whatever is the maximum of my left and right so it is just writing this one formula in the program after that I am going to check one important thing that is if my root is equal to null 
then I am going to return something that is 0. 0 because null root has 0 depth and after that if my root has uh, it is not null I mean it has some children so uh, it doesn't have any children actually it's a leaf node so if root is leaf node then we need to return one so even we have one more optimization like we don't need to uh, return anything for this one because when our function like consider this example so I'm going to take some different color now I want to highlight this thing like let's take this example so it is going to ask from the left and right so it is going to return 0 and 0 out of these the maximum will be 0 and then it will add 1 so the function is automatically returning 1 from the uh, for the leave so automatically handles the case for leave node leaves so we don't even need to write uh, not necessary it is actually optional line now this is the approach that i'm going to write and it's kind of recursive approach so it is a dfs based approach it is a dfs based approach so i have explained you bfs and dfs both approaches here and now let me just code the vfs approach what we are going to do is uh, we already have a function that is max depth and after that i'm just going to check if my root is equal to null then i'm going to return zero else what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask from uh, the left node hey what is your maximum depth so it is going to give me and similarly i'm going to get the maximum depth of right element now what i'm going to do is I'm going to return something and that something will be count the current node plus whatever is the maximum of our left and right depth so left and right this is what I'm going to do so this code become very shorter now but it's working I already have explained you so recursion is like magic so let's see how it's working and okay so it submitted successfully and let's see how fast it is. so it is 100% faster so guys you can see that uh, I have explained you both the approaches if you like the video then you can like uh, hit the like button and you can even subscribe the channel if you want uh, daily updates so this is all about this video thank you guys